Olivia is heading to the doctor this morning to get her eye evaluated again. This eye that has the contact lens, this is her good eye. This is the eye that we are working on, trying to get it to see since she was born with a cataract in that eye. And blind. Fortunately, now with the contacts you can see, but you've got to stay on top of it and the eye's starting to drift and we got to got some things to work on. Hopefully, ensure that her vision stays good as she gets older. We go take her to an eye appointment. My initial thought was like, man, has it been three months? But I know it hasn't because I think it's only been three months since her last surgery. Um, so I don't know how long it's been since we've seen him. Maybe six weeks? Seems like a really long time. But my life has been in a fog since she's been born. And it's not just because of her birth and surgeries and everything. I was watching old vlogs and like life was a fog like after the twins were born. And I actually didn't remember much until watching old videos. So I'm so thankful that we have these videos so I can remember what life is like right now. This is a different place than where you used to be going, huh? You've been here, you probably just don't remember it. We are not done yet, but we are done with the first part of her visit. We just did teller cards for the very first time, which was really cool. There were these gray cards, like gigantic gray cards that like were the arm length, not arm length, but half the arm length of the nurse. And they had black and white striped lines on a random part of the card and they look through, she looked through a teeny tiny, itty bitty little like pinhole to see where Olivia's eye, if her eye like could catch the black and white lines and focus on that. And if she could see them, great. So the results from that was her eye that has had the surgery that was blind at birth um, is at 2190. Like usually you have like 2020 vision is like good vision or what you want, but hers is 2190. And then her other eye um, for a baby, right now she said at seven months old, like usually you wouldn't even get like 2060, would be like amazing vision for a baby at this age. Um, and that eye registered at 2063. So that eye, her gut eye is like right on where it should be. Um, and her eye that was blind is at 2190. So she can see, but it's really bad vision. <laughs> but we're working on it. And there's lots of things that we can do to help it. So that was really cool to see. Now, Olivia has, you have your dilated drops in this eye. So we're gonna wait half an hour and we're gonna go back and see the doctor. <laughs> we're all done and good news. We are actually gonna go pick up a new eye drop she has been on one eye drop that has two different medications in it. Olivia had cataract surgery first. Um, she was blind in her eye. That was the first thing that we noticed when she was born. And then after that, that surgery caused glaucoma in her eye, so we had to have surgery to release the pressure. So she's been on eye drops to um, maintain the pressure in her eye or get them to a good result. We are gonna go ahead and we're gonna take out one of the medications in her eye drop and see how she does. And he said if she does really good with that, then she might be done with eye drops. I'm so excited about that because I think the last time that I saw him, we were kind of thinking that she could be on her eye drop for like for life. If you're new around here, you may not know that when she was born and had her cataract and had that surgery, the doctor found a lot of blood vessels that were in her eye. But by the time that they are born, the eye should be done developing and those blood vessels go away on their own. Hers did not, which meant that her eye just did not fully develop. Her right eye did, her left eye did not. 
but the doctor did say today that her eye is crossing enough today that we could go ahead and have schedule surgery right now. He wants to wait a little bit and just see how it does. Um, but he said that she could possibly have surgery to tighten the muscles in her eye before she turns one. Um, which is kind of hard to hear because that's another surgery. That's three surgeries in her same eye um, in her first year of life, which is kind of hard to swallow. Um, and it is upsetting, but I know she's gonna be okay. And I know we can get through this because we've done it before. <sighs> it's just another surgery and it's another time to, like it's not even just hanging her over and the anesthesia, which makes me so nervous to just be like, okay, put her to sleep and do what you need to do. And the time that, the extra time, like, my babies already get a lot of my time with having to nurse them, um, but then with the surgeries, she takes even more time um, that I would normally spend with the other kids and family and doing other things. So recovery just means she needs extra attention again, um, which is fine. I mean, we're gonna do what we need to do to take good care of her. I just saw the sweetest smile. Hi, sweet girl. <laughs> She was actually such a joy in the appointment when the doctor was in there. She was like when me and him were talking uh, She was looking over at his assistant and just like laughing and just talking and it was the cutest thing ever It was so much fun I think she knew that I needed her to like be happy and bubbly at that moment because we were talking about all different surgeries and possibilities and what what's going on and everything um, one other thing with her needing the surgery to do her muscle um, the doctor said that we could go ahead and at that time put a, a lens back in her eye, do a lens implant, and I, we don't know what we're going to do with that yet because on one hand it would be good to wait until later to make sure that we get the right um, lens, the a better lens I guess in there, like I don't know, I guess it would be like the prescription or whatever of the lens that would get implanted in. Um, could possibly be better if we wait a few years to do that um, but on the other hand he said he can go ahead and do that surgery at the same time as tightening her muscle um, and we can do that if we're having a lot of issues with her contact I, I feel like God has been teaching me a lot of like priorities and because there's so many things that I really want to like fit into my day, but I don't know how, or I just haven't made them a priority enough to fit into my day. And I feel like God's been telling me a lot lately. Like, you know what? When Livia was born, you didn't have the time to do a contact every day. You didn't have time to make sure you're tracking her patching time every day. You didn't have time to go and run all these appointments and do all this, but her eye is a very high priority in our family. And so we've made the time. like no matter what like that's gonna come first like if something really is that important we will make the time for it I have one last errand to run before we go home we have to go get Livia's eye drop I'm excited and nervous about it because one I didn't see this coming I didn't think we would get to the point where we got to lessen her eye drops or at least try um, and so but that makes me kind of nervous because we don't go back and see the doctor for two months. But I asked him, I said, is there a risk of not seeing you for two months with only doing one medication? And he said, I think she's gonna do fine. I love our pharmacists here. They know me from coming so much with having so many kids and being here a lot with Livia. And so I just showed up and she was like, hey, we're working on it, give us 15 more minutes. Like, didn't even have to ask my name, knew exactly what I needed, and it's just awesome. I love, love this pharmacy. And done. You ready to go home? I'm ready. You ready to take a nap? We keep losing your bug, he keeps hiding down here. You want that instead? Okay. Yep, yeah, mommy's home. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I think that's for daddy. Where did you get the camera from? Oh, daddy. Oh, thank you. With Livia's appointments today, one of the ways I had to prioritize my time was using Shipped. This video is not sponsored today. Um, but I had somebody else do our grocery shopping, bring it home, and I did a rotisserie 
a rotisserie chicken from the store and then already made mashed potatoes and fresh veggies. Her little personality is just starting to come out so much and she's starting to laugh more with her siblings and just have a lot of fun with everybody. I think she's starting to feel very secure in our family. Everybody loves you. Yeah. <laughs> she's getting tired though, so we need to go get her ready for bed. Tim got Livy all ready for bed. Enjoying her late night giggles. That the tickles and cuddles. And <laughs> this is when she's like the squeals. most fun. She's squeal. like, I know bedtime's coming. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Come here. Good job, girly. She even rolls her eye now. Wanna pray with daddy? Lord, we love you and thank you for Olivia. We yeah, ask that you give her good rest tonight. <laughs> Help strengthen her eye, strengthen the muscles, strengthen her sight. We thank you for the sight that you have given her. In Jesus' name, amen. If you are new to our videos, we would love to have you join us on our journey of learning how to be a family team and what every different aspect that entails with nine different people in the family. We upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and we would love to have you join us along on this journey. We'll see you next time. Bye.